So the Royals are reacting, guys. They are reacting when it comes to the snubbing um, of Harry and Meghan and them not going to the 75th birthday of King Charles. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Back it again with another video. Back it again with another Royal Nugget. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. Send us super thanks. I would appreciate it. And let's get straight into this video. This is like my fifth video of the day. Like it's a, a lot is going on, guys. It's 24-7 content on this channel. Let's go. Let's go. So reports from today are saying that, you know, King Charles and the Royals are very much relieved that Meghan Markle and Harry are not attending the celebration. Fox News is reporting. Surprise, surprise. The simple fact is this news was a huge problem, but most importantly, who needs victims at a family celebration? This is the dilemma that faces most of the senior members of the family. Whilst King would very much like to reconcile with the son, this is a huge issue for him and for the family, and they are relieved that Meghan and Harry are not returning in any capacity. The King has always been there for his youngest son, absolute lie and felt that this was the worst possible thing that could be said publicly about him as a father in regards to him no longer having anybody near him they are both very much camilla and charles content with the fact that he is not that they are not coming and that you know, this is how they want it to be now they're relieved now there's reports coming out of them being relieved or etc the initial plan was let's put it out there that we've invited our son and he's rejected it and woe is us when harry put out the real factual information to say we weren't even invited to this it makes charles looks bad it makes charles look like the evil villain it makes charles looks like the bad father he can't have that bad pr coming his way as he's now the king he needs to be this you know strong man for his children so when that came out now there needs to be conversation of what are we going to do how are we going to react let's get our aides and secretaries to put out the right stories to our besties dan woodson and the press and say to everybody write these you know updates and pages that we are relieved about harry and Meghan not coming we don't want them coming they're going to cause us way too much stress we don't need any of that now they're going to spin the block on this whole conversation and story about it yet again all i see from this is that anything related to king charles where it's meant to be his moment to shine he's been outshined if he's not being outshined by Diana, he's now being outshined by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. He can't help it. He is foaming at the mouth. It's no different to William and Kate foaming at the mouth that they're not the headlines. Camilla's been foaming at the mouth that she's never been a headline. She's always been the side piece. So when you're upset that you're not the main one, continuously you're being outshined, especially on my birthday, my 75th birthday, everyone's going to be there for me, but yet everyone's talking about Harry and Meghan not coming to my birthday, or if they are coming, you're relieved. Like, it's, it can be annoying or frustrating. So I think that's where all of this always comes from, that they're not the center of attention because they're just not that girl, they're not that guy, and they're not going to get any of that, unfortunately. Because Meghan has left the family Harry has left the family for so long, why are they still t a topic of conversation? Why can't they just move on to anything else going on in the royal family? Why is, are all these stories continuously about Meghan and Harry 24-7? It doesn't make any sense. They have left the family. They are no longer working royals. Move on and talk about something else. Evidently, you can't fathom that and therefore to be there for your son, you want to cut the funding off and etc. and you expect him to fly over and be here for your party. Those plans of yours didn't work out and now you're relieved. Now these articles are saying King Charles, Camilla, the, you know, the Royals, William, Kate, whoever else, they're all relieved, content and happy that Harry is not returning because they don't want any drama or whatever. When they're the ones lighting the damn match and Harry was the one who blew it out. Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this quick Royal Nugget video. Comment down below, guys. And you know I love to read your comments and what your thoughts are on this. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button. Send a super thanks. I really appreciate those who have recently been sending me super thanks. They go so far. I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. Subscribe. It's just one click, guys. And I will catch you guys soon for another video.